Hey guys, Hubble here. Recently, there's been rumors about a Zenny exploit going around, and thus this would be explaining all the recent spikes in Silcash rates, as well as elevated bridge prices. Well, fear not, for I am here to explain the recent events in the community. Soulworker historically has terrible anti-cheat on every server. For some reason, some stats like attack speed and movement speed are stored client-side as well as stamina consumption. With the right tools, one could have had access to some cheats. As you can see, a certain individual has been offering to sell cheats on their Discord. The most important takeaway from this is the promise of farming an egregious amount of energy converters, akashas, tags, and zeni. Through a process of elimination, we can deduce that this exploit involves running the old Soul Jumper event map and thus some version of teleport. So how can you prove this? If you take a look at this admittedly blurry picture, we can see that someone with multiple old rows of energy converters is playing on the server. We know that this server is the global server because of the fact that the bank and inventory types are in English with a font matching global server, as well as an LF reset ticket thus ruling out an image that is from Gameforge. In the top left row, you'll see that there is a bunch of weapon tag transmitters as same as the ones from Soul Jumper. So how do you know people can cheat in Soul Jumper? While this video was taken from a Gameforge player, this is more of a proof of concept that there are and ways to exploit the game to abuse things. As you can see in the video, this certain player takes 11 seconds to complete the Iron Castle raid and earning about 700k zenny in, uh, in a short period of time. Now scale this amount of zenny farming to however many people are already using this and you can see that this server is headed down a dark path. Why does this matter? As someone who has played on the Gameforge server since beta, I can attest to what inflation does to the economy. It's extremely depressing to see all your hard-earned zenny dwindle down in value due to an ever-increasing amount of bought zenny. Due to the large influx of money entering the economy, players will have more and more money to buy items from the market and players, and thus driving up the prices for new ones. However, this will also affect endgame players because they'll never be able to match the amount of bought zenny and always just be falling behind. This is also a big middle finger to those who have chosen to top up in the game. While it is a player's own choice to top up and use their currency however they see fit, I for one would never be okay with selling items to someone who got their money in an illegal manner. This will most likely de-incentivize people from spending more than they need to. For a free-to-play game like Soulworker, the game depends on people who top up to pay for the servers. And if you look back at the picture, you can see that the prices are pretty high at about 250 euros, give or take a bit. And it seems like that this isn't geared towards the average player, but rather those who are already spending. And thus, players will choose to not spend anymore because they don't need to. What can we do about this? Due to how long this has been going on behind the scenes, a rollback will be impossible due to how long it would have to roll back. Lion Games can easily check logs of a specific player and see what they're doing, but this becomes less feasible when it comes to checking the entire server. While I don't know the specific tools that the devs have access to, I cannot imagine that it would be too difficult to filter out those who access the Soul Jumper event map after the event ended. After somehow restricting the use of this program or any abusable areas, a ZeniSync would be needed to be implemented into the server. Gameforge chose the Sockworker event to drain the excess Zenny by convincing players to waste their Zenny on event items for rewards such as energy converters, dyes, and terabooches. I would really like to see LG do something like this. If LG refuses to do anything about this, however, history will repeat itself once again and players will begin leaving the server due to how bad the economy is. Thankfully, LG seems to be willing to punish people as they have banned people on the global server simply for having more than one initial launch box. In addition to that, they are also known for banning people on the Korean servers who have used certain exploits. I encourage everyone aware of this issue to file tickets so we can bring more awareness to this problem and get this fixed.